guys. Today we're going to talk about SketchUp. I'm going to show you how to use it. And um, first thing we're going to talk about is SketchUp is a drawing program that is professional grade and it's going to allow us to 3D model using the computer. Um, I've already logged into my Google account. There's my Google Drive right there. I want you to log into your Google account. Um, to do that, you can go through this school keychain or you can go into go to Google and log in using your school account. Mine is Kelly McQuay, Kelly underscore McQuay at ahschools.us. You have the same account, you know how to get there. But get your drive open and then just put it down below. Just downsize it so it's down there. So at the end of the hour, you will have a place to store your drawing and it won't get erased. If you leave it on the computer, if you save it on the desktop and don't put it into your Google Drive, it will be gone next time you come. The computers get erased every night and it will be gone. So we're going to save it onto our drive, our desktop. We're going to save it to the desktop and then drop it into our drive at the end of the hour. All right, let's start up a browser here. I get a new window, and I'm just going to go to SketchUp. S K E T C H up, SketchUp, and there it is, right there. SketchUp 3D for everyone. This is a professional grade drawing program that is free. I don't know how they do it, but they do, and it's awesome. And we can draw lots of different things. People use it professionally. Engineers use it to draw all sorts of things. So if you want to download this at home, it is free. You hit download. You're going to tell them that you are education. You're going to put your email address, put your student, put your name and school name, NMS. And it's for Windows or Mac. And then over here you choose, you're going to choose SketchUp Pro 2015 and click off their news and tips but you have to click this license agreement here and you can download it so you can download this at home and play with it at home all right we already have this on the computer so i'm going to get rid of this and to get to it you're going to go to the mac hard drive that's right up here that's what that looks like the mac hard drive you're going to go into applications and then from applications you're going to go to google sketchup or SketchUp. They, Google used to own it and they sold it and now it's just called SketchUp. SketchUp right there and I am going to just click SketchUp not Style Builder, not Layout, SketchUp and it's starting below there. I don't remember what version uh, SketchUp application from the internet, yes we want to open it. I don't remember what versions on the computers in the computer lab but they're all the same. Things may just look a little different but it's basically going to be the same. All right, usually when you start, it's going to want to know which template you're going to use. Okay, this is on all the versions. It wants to do different templates for different kinds of drawing. We're going to be drawing a playground, so we want an architectural template. So we're going to choose template right here, choose template. And we're going to go down to architectural. Um, Actually, let's do the simple. Let's do this one. I on other versions, I think the architectural one has the green grass, but we want the green grass. So we're going to use simple template, feet and inches. Don't use the meters. That's for science. We're we're tech ed. We're going to use the feet and inches. So we're going to click this one. Now, people click it and they're like, it doesn't start, Mr. McCoy. It doesn't start. You got to go down here. It's kind of hidden in this bar. It says start using SketchUp. You see that? I'm moving my mouse right there. Start using SketchUp. Okay. Oh, it usually is a, a gal who's here. Now we have this guy holding a book. All right. He's there to give us perspective. He's there to show us how big our thing is. Okay. Um, looks like we have some new features over here. We'll just, I'm going to be your instructor today. So I'm just going to get rid of that. All right, so the first thing we need to do is look at the tools. There's three tools that 
I want to use. And we're going to start out with the box. And this one will let us draw a box. But let's let's actually go back up here. We're going to start out using the tools that move us around. So we have orbit, we have pan, and we have the magnifying glass. Orbit is this one that looks like a circle here. In other versions, it looks kind of like an atom. And what this does is it allows us to move around our world, it allows us to move our view. We can change our view. And you see those three lines? Those are the axes. Those change. They move around. They change. Okay. The hand, and if you hold your mouse on it, it will tell you what the thing is. See, this is called pan. If I take the hand, I can move the world. I can actually move the world. All right. And then the last is the magnifying glass. Now, on some of our Macs that we're using, we don't have a button. And if you hold the open um, the, the command or the Apple button right next to spacebar and go up and down with the one button, it works. Okay. On the two button mouse, if you just hold the button down, it will move up and down. Okay. It will move. Um, in and out. If you have a wheel on your mouse, it makes it real easy. The wheel will move in and out. This is an important feature. You're going to have to get used to zooming. Um, okay, and it also looks like if I just put uh, the magnifying glass and go hold the one button up and down, I can zoom in and out. Okay, so it's up and down is the zoom. Okay, so what I want you to do is pause this and practice that. Practice orbit. That's where you move the world like this. You can change your view. The hand, which is called pan, and zoom. I want you to be able to do all three of those. Zoom in on the guy and see if there's anything interesting. If you have the girl there, if you zoom in on her hand, you can see if she has a wedding ring. I think she usually does. Zoom in and out. Okay, practice that. Pause and do that. Okay, now that you paused and practiced, we're going to do something useful. We're going to draw a box. So what we're going to do is draw a box. And I just hold the mouse down and drag. And if I now look at this, you can see that it has, it's very thin. It's very thin. So, um, there we go, draw the box. Now I can go up and down with the box using this tool called push-pull. It's also called extrude on other things. If I push this and I lift up, I can lift my box up. Okay, so I can move my box up and down. Take and make a box and practice going um, up and down with it. See if you can do that, maybe even zoom out Take and look around your box. Don't make it too much bigger than the guy. You can see I'm a, I'm probably half again as high as the guy. So mine might be like 15 feet tall. That might be a little tall. So I might even go down a little. I'm going to go back on the top. Go down. If you hold it on different sides, you can extrude the different sides too. So play with that a little bit. Pause this and play with that. Make a box. If you are having trouble with this, just rewind it and watch which buttons I used again. To make the box, I used the square and then I used the extrude. Okay, pause and play with that. All right, now you're back. Let's start our playground. This is going to be our base. Our box is going to be our base. And now let's start adding sides to our box. We're going to put some more boxes on this. We're going to have it be able to go up, kids to get up on top of their box. So this is going to be our base of our playground. We're going to make everything off of this. So I made some steps here, but they're flat. See, they're not even up. 
off. They're just like drawings on my box. And I want them to actually come out so the kids can climb on them. So I'm going to use the extrude again, the push-pull, and I'm going to pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. And this one I'm going to make like a diving board. They can jump off this thing. Um, okay, so now the kids can climb up onto top. All the kids want to get up on top. And that's kind of cool. So pause this and make some steps. Okay, you're back. All right, now that's this is for the kids who aren't that um, adventurous. Let's make a way up on top of our thing that is for kids who are more adventurous. We're going to need a new tool. We're going to try using the pencil. See this little pencil there? And we can actually go lines, or if I go down, I got a free hand. We want the free hand. You see this little arrow? I click on the arrow, I get another tool. So I want free hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the side and I'm going to draw things that look like rocks. So we're going to draw some rocks here. Draw a rock, rock, rock. Oops, that's an ugly rock, but it's a rock, rock. I'm going to do what designers sometimes do. They hide things. I'm going to hide my initial M in here. There, there's my M for McCoy. All right, I'm going to make some more rocks. Rock, 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 rock. Okay, so I got some rocks. Oh, don't fall on that one. All right, they're still flat. They're flat. They're just drawings on the wall. Let's extrude those out so the kids can actually grab them and climb on them. And I'm extruding some of them out here. Okay. And yes, they're kind of flat rocks, but hey, we're just we're just learning. Now, what's even crazier is if I want to draw some rocks, some more rocks, I can actually move in too. So I'll draw some more rocks in here. I can actually extrude in. Watch this. This is kind of cool. Go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. I can even make this one go in if I want it. Oh, that's saying that it's flat on that wall. I can make them back flat again if I wanted to. Uh, go in though. There we go. So there's my rock wall for the kids who are more adventurous. Okay. Uh, that guy does not look adventurous. I do not think he'll like um, being on our playground. He looks kind of boring. But anyway, there we go. There's our rock wall. Okay, we got two ways up. Let's make some ways down. Okay, so let's see. Let's make a slide. There's lots of different ways to do this. I'm going to make I'm going to do the easy way. So there's a box. I made a box. Now let's extrude this box out. Okay, so I extruded it out. So I made a box and then I grabbed the side and I extruded it out. Oh, I could even go in. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's go out. And now we're going to make the slide. So we want to think about uh, how steep we want our slide. I'm going to need some more room. If I don't go out more, I'm going to go out some more. All right, now let's make our line. I don't want the squiggly line. I want a regular line, and I'm going to go from this corner down. Okay. So let's do that. Um, let's make this kind of interesting. So it's kind of sharp at first. They're going to go, and then they've got to come down and down. There's my slide. Okay. So now I'll extrude that what I don't want away, and it goes away. Okay, so now they come down the slide, and they come off the end. All right, well, this is kind of an extreme playground because there's no railings. We could make railings if we wanted to. That 